Hi everyone, this is Mary Blue Angel here, back with Heartstrings. Finally, 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 because it's been a hot second uh, since I've got into play Heartstrings, and I wanted to have a little bit of a break between um, doing Hugo's Route and Yuki's Route, um, but then I realized I had spent too long um, apart from this game, and I'm very much happy to dive back into it because I'm very curious how Yuki's route is going to be and what story lies ahead and how we'll round out the rest of the story from what we learn um, on Zack and Hugo's routes. Um, so please join me in seeing what shenanigans we'll get up to with Yuki. Oh, where's my mouse? There you go. Come to think of it, I don't know much about him except for his hobbies. I better get to know him more. Good plan. It's spring and all flowers are in full bloom. Roses, margarita, sunflowers, all types of flowers sway with the rhythm of the wind. Have you made your decision? This is one of the men whose fate meets mine. Young Master Yuki. So? What will it be? I think flower supply will do. Then it's settled. But also, let me help out here in the gardens. Are you sure? Yes, I'm more than glad to help. I actually need a hand, so I'll take you up on that. Thanks. As to how our fate will turn out, it's all up to me since I know it better. Our strings are connected, with the tangles going all over the place. There is no uncertainty. He is my soulmate. Days passed, and I adjusted to my new life here at the Gardner Mansion. The workload is not the he that heavy. In fact, it's enough for me to have hours of free time every day. Heinz isn't strict with us as long as we do our tasks right. The masters are also very responsible with their mess leaving less tasks to us. Good thing I was only assigned cleaning duties. It's the best place a maid can ever work for. That's really nice. So, even that greenhouse is yours, Master. I pointed at a greenhouse visible from where I'm standing. We are all currently trimming a bougain villa at the backyard. Bougainville? Bougainville? Don't know how to say that uh, in English. Yeah, yeah. I plant vegetables and fruits of all seasons inside that greenhouse. That's cool. But the fact that you can plant flowers easily is still beyond me. I can't even raise a single flower alive. Me too. Me too, Marie. I can't even keep succulents. I'm afraid to even keep cacti because... I feel like I would have killed them also. I also didn't have a green thumb. It takes patience and hard work. That inspires me. Then, is that cherry blossom tree also the result of your hard work? Oh my god, cherry blossom. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Look at the CG of this cherry blossom tree. It's so pretty pretty. A cherry blossom tree can be seen not far from here. Bright pink petals flow with the wind as the tree stands majestically at the center. It's beautiful. It is very beautiful. Ugh. Young master. Yeah, yeah, I guess. It turns out Yuki is a university student taking up a course in agricultural agriculture in his second year. We are of the same age, yet he now manages a farm from the east coast and this sells the crops and flowers for profit. My parents gave me a small lot from the east coast, and through hard work I was able to expand it up to the beach, leaving room for a possible fishing business soon. To achieve so much at such a young age... Heinz didn't tell us about you. How were your school days like? I actually grew up in an orphanage, so I was educated there. Our materials come from a local public school, so thanks to that, we're on par with high school teachings. Orphanage, huh? Any plans for college? What's your dream? 
my dream. All I know is I want to continue matchmaking. I just want to be a good matchmaker. You're the same as Zack. What? Really? Yeah. Didn't you know that he owns the biggest, biggest matchmaking app, Heartstrings? Huh? He's knowledgeable in matchmaking. Maybe you should try asking him if you could apply. Heartstrings? That matchmaking app that made my job obsolete. So, he's the one behind that app. That's right. They may have an app, but they still look for matchmakers who will accompany the members on their dates. I heard they prefer graduates of psychology for it. The study of human behavior, huh? It might be useful indeed for matchmaking. Maybe if I could save up, then I'll be able to take up that course. Thank you, young master. I'll talk to him about it. No problem. You may be a maid here, but we'd support whatever path you'd take. After all, it's your life. We can't live without with regrets, you know. You don't know how much this information means to me. I'll get going. Wait. Huh? Your first flower. Yugi handed me a bunch of light pink roses. Huh? Light pink roses in flower language language means gentleness. They really look like they've been taken care well ter care of well. Thanks. Good luck. Huh. Live without regrets. Huh. I keep on giving advice I can't apply to myself. Oh, Yuki, what's wrong? If only it's something with the cherry blossom tree. Oh, uh, this cherry blossom tree CG illustration background is beautiful. Yeah, I own heartstrings. So what? Oh, Zach, hello. You're so grumpy. Thanks to your technology, my business plummeted as a traditional matchmaker. Not my fault for you not keeping up with the times. I know. I didn't come for that. I want to apply as your matchmaker. Ugh. He's always so shocked when when she wants to do this. So, you're indeed a traditional matchmaker as you advertised from your poster. I thought you only have your witchcraft skills as your talent. I use those skills on top of my matchmaking. And stop with the witchcraft. It's not witchcraft. Whatever you say, witch. And you said you wanted to apply. You must be kidding me. I am not. I need to see some credentials. Besides, you're still working as a maid here. How will you handle it? Not now, but soon. Do you really require college degrees just for matchmaking? I have experience. We do hire people of experienced backgrounds. We don't really require a degree, but good matchmakers have a good eye for reading other people. How about I prove it to you right now? What? Give me pairs of clients in a list with pictures, and let's jumble them up. I'll figure out who's fated with each other. How about I say no? Oh, come on. We're both matchmakers. Let's help each other out. Stop being so stubborn, Zack. Fine. Just stop bothering me if you lose. <laughs> I'll make sure I don't do that. A few moments later, Zack laid out the list of clients on his laptop screen. Red lines appeared on the screen connecting people to their respective soulmates. Traditional or digital, a red string of fate can be easily read. I think that's interesting, because in the other two routes, Amuri was shocked that um, if we could even see Red Strings of Fate um, digitally. So this is interesting not to have that kind of aspect for this route. Now start. That one and that one. Ugh. And this and that. What the? That and this. Oh, wait, you're so fast, and you got them all right. 
did you access this database beforehand? What are you saying? I didn't even know you're the owner of Heartstrings until today. It's impossible for you to have access either. How are you doing this? You're not going to believe me anyway, but it's that witchcraft skill you're talking about. I see their red strings of fate and just point them out. Red strings of fate? Yeah, ever heard of them? It's a popular legend. Of course. I just... Just what? N nothing Hmm. Let's proceed. Zack got impressed with my match, my fast matchmaking skills, and was left speechless for the rest of the early afternoon. Then I'm looking forward to your feedback. Goodbye. <laughs> Young Master Yuki. Young Master Yuki. I already met with Zack, and I... Oh, he's not here. I wander around instead until I reach the cherry blossom tree. So pretty. I would also continue to look at the cherry blossom tree. I touched the trunk and admired the scenic view. You must be pretty well taken care of. I kept on touching the trunk until I felt something odd in it. There's a text written here. A X Y. I wonder what that means. Wait, this is Yuki's tree. So that Y must be Yuki, right? As for the A, no one from the gardeners carries the letter A. I wonder who it is. Marie. Uh. Young master, what are you doing here? Just admiring the tree. Oh, and I talked with Zack regarding the matchmaking and I'm waiting for his feedback. I see. I hope, I hope good comes out of it. Indeed. He was even less speechless that I had to excuse myself. Say, young master, did you write this? I pointed to the writing. I totally would not have asked. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, like, it's probably like either. Well, I mean, maybe it's a current thing. Who knows? Ugh. Ugh. Y stands for Yuki, doesn't it? Who says A? A, young master, has a crush. Ugh. I'd appreciate it if you never set foot back here, at this tree again. Oh my god. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry if... I... I'm sorry if I star startled you. I just don't appreciate anyone going near here. This is a very special tree for me. I see. It's okay. I understand. It's just too bad we can't appreciate it up close. Thanks. What secrets are lying with that tree? Special, huh? I wonder what makes this tree so special that even Yuki wouldn't let anyone come near it. Who is this A? I don't know. How's your novel, Hugo? He's having a hard time looking for inspiration. How did he even know that? You've been staring aimlessly at the hallway earlier. Or you were. Did I? You can just go out and travel, Hugo. It might give you a spark of inspiration. I'll consider it. Good for you, Hugo. You don't have problems like studying anymore, and you can just travel anytime you want. With that saying, how's your finals, Yuki? Ugh. Well. You don't need to say anything. You failed. That's pretty obvious. Ugh. It's math. It's math, that's why. Why do we even need to study subjects not related to our courses? It's not like we care about X's and Y's. <laughs> it's to build your problem-solving foundation. Agriculture, agriculture has their own problems that need to be solved logically. So my tutoring didn't help either. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yuki. Yes? I believed I told you what would happen if you failed the subject at school. I'm sorry. 
I'll make up next ses I'll make up I'll make it up next semester. Please don't reduce my lot at the backyard. This family is really fun when they have dinner together. Family, huh? I wonder how they're doing back at the orphanage. Marie? Uh, what do you think about going to university? Huh? What? I heard from Zach that you have the potential and talent as a matchmaker. I know you're still employed by me, but I don't want that to block you from my from your dreams. Oh. You needn't be a maid anymore, and I'll offer to be your scholar sponsor instead. Of course, you can still live here. What do you say? Heinz has been very generous. Also, I will say, I don't know how old Heinz is, but like maybe it's because like I'm a little older. But I thought Heinz was on like the love interest um, docket. He seems like he he's he's so generous. He's very kind. Um, I personally wouldn't mind a route like that, but um, that would make the story a little different. Uh, what do you say? Th th this is... Master, it's not even been that long since I started working here. That's just how Uncle Heinz is. Ugh. He had all of the maids here study at least one degree. That's how generous he is. Oh, you're so generous, Heinz. Yuki's like, I don't want to be in school right now. I want to be done. Everyone... Are you sure, Master Hines? I I'm glad with your offer, but you're helping me, even if I'm just new here? The moment you first stepped in here, you're already a part of the family. Oh, huh. family. I looked at my pinky finger. At my string. At Yuki, Hugo, and Zack. One of them is my endgame. Does this mean I can really be a part of this family soon? Then, I'll still help out here when I go back for school. It's up to you, but I'll greatly appreciate it. But don't overdo it, and just focus on your studies. You can decide what you want to do after you graduate. Master Hines. Is he my fairy godfather? Absolutely. There's no other way to put it. I'll never forgive this kindness you've given me. Then, I'll help you get in the egg... I'll help you with the entrance exam. Huh? What a lovely offer, Yuki. Because of that, I won't reduce your lot. <laughs> really? Yes. Yuki will be teaching me? Ah, oh, yes. A tutor-student moment. When dinner is finished, I ask Master Hines to talk privately. Thank you, Master Hines. I'll repay the favor someday. <laughs> Heinz is so funny. You can marry one of my nephews. What? Just kidding. I'm glad I'm able to help. Just know that you're very important, just as everyone else, even as our maid. You're the best boss ever. Am I? <laughs> now I'm glad Yuki's going to help you with the entrance examination. Indeed, it was kind of him. Whatever fate you choose, just know that I'm here to support you. Faith. I'm half joking about earlier, though. He said only half joking. That means he's half serious. Master! <laughs> May the string guide you to your destination. Huh? String? Could he be referring to the red string bracelet he gave me? Oh, yeah. I forgot, like, in Zack's route. Or in the prologue, I guess? Heinz gave us... A red string bracelet. So he knows something. Maybe we'll get to see more of that in this route. Which would be very great and fun. Hmm. I wonder if it's a religious... A religious thing. Or is it a lucky charm? I'm trimming the bushes while daydreaming what my life at university will be like. University, huh? I wonder how my life at university will be like. Finals recently finished, so I'll probably enroll next semester. A place of learning and friends. I really hope I can get in. I'm going to university. Someone's excited. 
Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Someone's excited. Young Master Hugo. Here. He handed me a bunch of purple flowers. What flower is this? It's Iris. To give you courage. Aw, oh, thank you. It's beautiful. Have faith. I'm sure you'll get in. Hugo. Did you also learn flower language? Not really. I just know of this one. Yuki's the one who's more knowledgeable about this. He's obsessed with flowers so much that he even names his plants using people's names. Aw, oh, that's cute. Really? Then what's the name for those jasmine flowers over there? It's Alex. <gasps> Alex? A for Alex? Maybe that, that jasmine flowers were Alex's favorites. Alex, huh? What a pretty name. It's named after someone Yuki knew. Huh? So here you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Young Master Yuki, are you ready? Let's ace that entrance examination. You can do it. Right, I almost forgot about that. Coming. Uh, back at the library. Uh, that's almost everything for English. Really, that was easy. You must suck at math. How did you know? There are two types of people. Math people and English people. I kind of understand where you're coming from. Then, then let's proceed to it. Algebra appears on the exam most of the time. Let me just get the reference book for it. Hmm. It should be somewhere around here. Huh. Uh huh. I actually need help in finding it. Let me help you out. I walk towards the shelves and look at each of the Dewey main categories. 500 to 599 for pure sciences and 669 699 for technology. It should be between these two. Science and technology? Would it be science? Oh gosh. I'm gonna save. Because I'm bad at math. Um. Yeah, it's a science. The mathematical science? Yes. Not a technology. Algebra should be here. There it is. I immediately took the first book and I saw and went back to our table. Oh, oh, you found it. Good job in finding it easily, Marie. It's not a big deal. Oh, look at them tutoring session. T tutoring session so cute. It's a big deal. You knew the Dewey Decimal System even without a copy. Yes, I mean, you kind of told me my answer, so I didn't know, but Marie knew. That's because it was taught to us before. I think it was high school material. I also like reading, so sometimes I go to the city library. So, you do have a knack for reading. I'm sure you're smart. There's no doubt you'd get in. You're so cute. You really think so? Yes. I'm not sure if I'm the best teacher for algebra, but I'll do what I can. I'll make sure you get in. I appreciate your help, young master. Then, let me teach you this part. The afternoon passed by and we were able to go through the materials together. I still have a week left before the entrance examination. Flowers of the day. These look so cute. It's gypsophilia. Or... Gypso? Phyla. Gypsophila. They're commonly, they're commonly known as baby's breath. It's a filler flower used for bouquets and flower arrangements. Baby's breath are so nice. It's it's derived it derived its name from the kind of soil it thrives on. The soil is found to be high in gypsum, which is a kind of mineral that makes the soil thick and heavy. Hence the name. Oh. Huh? You must think it's pretty weird for a guy to like and know about these things. I mean, considering that you study agriculture and you have a farm and you do stuff with flowers, I don't think it's weird. And even if you didn't do all this stuff, it's your interest, so it's fine. No, not at all. It's actually unique and inspiring. Ugh. I see. I don't know how, but I'm glad I was able to inspire you some way. I think this would be... I think this would look great for weddings. 
it is indeed used for weddings. Since it's usually being used for them, it is a well-known flower associated with self-discipline and commitment. Really? This would look actually good- this actually would look good with the pink roses you gave me the other day. Thanks for this. I know, right? You're welcome. <laughs> you get flowers all the time in this route from Yuki. How cute. I wonder, what's the human name for this flower? As well as the pink roses. Human- uh, Human name? Hugo told me about how you give human names to your flowers. That Jasmine is Alex, isn't it? Ugh. He also told me it came from someone you knew. Yeah. Yeah. Was it a friend? Someone special? Uh. Huh? The way he responded, he suddenly became serious. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. It's okay. It was her favorite flower, too. Same as you. Oh. Let's continue. A week passed, and today's the entrance examination. The gardeners gave me their best wishes. Yuki tagged along with me and told me he'd wait outside after I take the test. It was kind of him, even though he didn't need to do that. Oh, scary. That was hard. Good thing I studied seriously, or else I wouldn't have anything to answer. Marie? Huh? Oh, it's, no, it's not. It's not Yuki. Marie. <laughs> Marie. They all sound the same. Lucas. It is you. Lucas is also a close friend of mine whom I grew up with at the orphanage. When we reached 18, we were given options to leave or to stay and work at the orphanage. He chose the latter. It's been so long. How are you? Still as fine as ever. I came here wanting to study psychology. Oh my god, they're going to be psychology buddies. Really? That was my goal, too. Really? Yeah, I must... I'm sponsored by my boss where I do my housekeeping duties. I was hoping to get in at the same course. What a coincidence. It must be fate. How did you do at... How did you do at... with the exam? I'm pretty confident about it. Good for you. I could barely answer the questions. They were challenging. It wouldn't be a top-notch school for nothing. If we both pass, then I guess we'll be seeing each other often. I pray that comes true. Then let's keep in touch. My young master is waiting for me outside since earlier, uh, and I can't keep him waiting. See you soon. Young master, you... Oh. Would you like to watch a movie with me today, Yuki? How about we go to your garden today? Shut up, I invited him first. Does it matter? Isn't that the girl who asked for my reading before? Girls, uh, th there's no need to fight. He's coming with me. I'm not coming with anyone. I appreciate the invite, but maybe next time. Come on, Yuki. Oh, Marie. There's the person I'm waiting for. See you around, Melissa and Karen. But, but... Yuki ran up to me. How did it go? Easy peasy. Really? Nah, had a hard time with it, but I answered all of them. Let's just hope for the best, then. Who are those girls? When I looked at the girls without Yuki looking, the girls raised their eyebrows and looked at me from head to toe. Okay, that was mean. She's not even pretty. Isn't she that fortune teller? What? The girls whisper, but purposely made me hear it since they're just behind me. That girl is a scam. What? Isn't that bad? Shush, Yuki might hear us. Come on. I mean, I'm not a scam. Marie's not a scam. Sure, talk all you want. They're my classmates from my one subject. They're so friendly. At least only when you're looking? I didn't know you're popular here. <laughs> only, only if those girls knew. I looked at my red string of fate. No change at all. The tangles are still there and connected to Yuki. 
I really wonder why there's so many tangles. I'm still filled with curiosity. How will I untangle these? Huh. Oh, back, back to the dreams, the nightmares. Father, please. You useless child. You should have never been born. This is terrible. Can't you just shut up? I can feel his fingers tugging on my hair. It hurts. Please forgive me. Uh. <sighs> Why is that? It's fine. It's all right now. That happened a long time ago. I'm in the present now. The nightmare made me get up since my throat became dry and I became thirsty. The moon, the moon lit the windows beautifully until a shadow passes by the curtains. What, what was that? I don't have anything with me except for my slippers. You gotta slap them with your slippers if it's danger. So I held on to it and figure, figure, went to figure out who's the person behind the curtain. Thief! What the? <laughs> you think you can get away? Oh, it's Zack. Wait, it's me, Zack. Huh? Oh, why didn't you tell me sooner? Because you attacked me first? Oops. Sorry, hopefully I didn't wake anyone else. You were quick to realize it, so it's fine. What are you doing here? Staring at the moon. Can't sleep? Sort of. Hey. Are you okay? Are... Are you okay? Huh? Even with just the moonlight, I can tell that you cried with your puffy eyes. Nah, probably just a bug bite. There's no use in hiding your feelings. Huh. In fact, you shouldn't hide them as much as possible. Where are you getting this from? Hmm. Huh? See that moon? That's you. How dare you compare me to a big round rock? Can't you be serious with me for once? I'm trying to be, but it's so random. Oh, were you serious? Go on. You feel like the moon's close. Yet... It's so far. I'd like to say, are you farsighted? But I want to know where he's getting, where he's going with this. Who knew, who knew we, who knew we'll end up seeing each other again? Who, sorry, I don't know why that line sounds. Who knew we will, we'd end up seeing each other again? Huh? He's smiling. Did, did you meet our encounter from the park? I avoided my gaze. I avoided looking at him as I didn't know he could smile like that too. You really can't. If you're going to say sorry, it's fine. I forgive you. Ugh. It's late. You should go back to sleep. You too, Mr. Night Owl. By the way. Huh? I found this nearby. Look at that blushing, Zack. I am on Yuki's route. I can't be seeing you blush like that. You're too cute. He then gave me a purple aster flower. What's this for? Nothing. I found it on my way here. Really now? Men. Then what does this flower mean? Huh? Oh, sorry. I just got used to it, interpreting flower language and all. I don't know, but Yuki calls this flower as patience. Oh, a unique human name again, but this time as a human tree. Though I think Aster makes a good name too. Hmm, Aster could be the name. Or the A name. Please take care of Yuki. You didn't need to say it. I'm the gardener's maid, remember? Yeah, thanks. Okay, good night. Hmm. He might be needing a friend now more than ever. Hmm, okay, so Zack is making an observation. Okay. 
So I'm going to leave it here for today. That was a lot. Marie took the college entrance exam to this university nearby and she ran into Lucas from the orphanage, her childhood friend. So maybe they'll be taking psychology classes together. And we learned a little bit more about flower language. And we also got tutored by Yuki, which is really fun. Um, I'm really curious to see how there will be a lot more details and more story on top of everything we've already seen in the other routes. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!